welcome to God's Word for us that come. Ghana's online Christian station. Be blessed as you listen to messages on the site. Hallelujah. Have you found Mark 11, 22? Have the faith of God. Amen. How many have faith? Verse 23. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, but shall not doubt in his heart, and shall believe that those things which he saith, shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Amen. Is it a powerful thing? Amen. Now turn with me to Matthew chapter 17, verse 13. Verse 14 says, And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son. Amen. For he is a lunatic and sore vexed. Amen. For oftentimes he falleth into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples and they could not cure him. Amen. Now, this is an example of demonic activity. Falling into the water and falling into the fire. Typically, you would call that Epilepsy. It sounds like epilepsy. Somebody who suddenly falls off. Grand mal epilepsy, petit mal epilepsy. There are then other types of Jacksonian epilepsy, different kinds of epilepsies that we have. But this type of falling into a fire, falling down, it sounds like epilepsy. But you can see as it goes on, it says that Jesus rebuked the devil and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Demons work on the flesh, like Satan has been given to eat the dust, isn't it? To walk in the ground, and he's eating dust all the time. So that symbolically shows you that the serpent feeds on your flesh. So, anything that can be modified with the flesh is what a demon does. For instance, if you have a blood pressure and it can be made a bit higher, it's a demonic work. Or you have uh, skin rashes, skin reaction, it can become a lot so that you don't have whatever is a demon. You have, a, but you will call it uh, eczema or some other skin condition. Or you have um, a breast and it will be made to grow bigger. We we'll call it cancer, but it's growing, but grow, only here grow. Only here grow. It's not normal. You understand? Or your knee will grow bigger. Only here grow. Or your liver will grow bigger. So that is the body. As well as our normal feelings. To make your normal feeling of sadness be more sad, sadder. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Is we call it depression. Or happiness. 
More, 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 more. Then we call it mania in medicine. <laughs> Do you understand? Or you have sexual desire. More, 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 more. Then you become fornication, adultery, this, 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 more. The demons feed on the flesh and just enter the flesh and make it something different. Or there's a place to have sex. So no, 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 to the back. To the back. <laughs> No, I'm explaining. <laughs> or, or you are strong. You are strong. It makes you super strong. Like the man who beat the seven sons of Sceva. Strong, 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 strong. Until you are beating all the madman of Garaba said no one could bind him no not with chains or you live no 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 don't stay in the house go here cemetery here stay here everything human the devil loves to torment modify and change it is all signs of demonic activity May every demonic power in your life be broken tonight in Jesus' name. May evil spirits lose their control over your moods and your feelings, your attitudes in Jesus' name. May you be free of cancer and all forms of diseases and sicknesses. May you not die before your time in the name of Jesus. May you be healed of every plague and every curse of the enemy in Jesus' name. Amen. And so the Bible says, Jesus rebuked the devil and he departed. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, why could we not cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, not the whole master seed, a grain. You shall say to this mountain, remove thence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it, this kind goeth out, not but by prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. So Jesus said clearly, That you need to have faith. Now the smallest amount of faith introduced into your life will make a lot of difference in your life. The smallest amount of faith that you can introduce to your life will make a lot of difference to your outcome. Amen. And so Jesus is telling us here that we must have faith even like a mustard seed It will make a big difference. Everything in your life is going to be different just because you have a little faith. So faith is very, very, very important for you to have because it makes a big difference. Now, a little bit of being positive, a little bit of believing in God, by your actions, by your confessions, will make a big difference to your life. Little things make big differences. And he that has believes in the little difference that makes a big difference. So, he that does well spiritually believes in the little differences that make a big difference. So I want you to believe in the little difference 
that faith, the big difference that faith can have. You see, spiritual things, like physical things, just a little, it changes it. For instance, somebody said, you know, Jesus, in many of the Bibles, they've taken away the word virgin. That a virgin, Jesus was uh, born of a virgin Mary. And they've changed the word virgin to a young woman. There is a difference between a young woman and a virgin. Even though the difference anatomically is very little, there's just a very slight difference, and many doctors may not even be able to see sometimes that this is a virgin or it's not a virgin. You can see, but sometimes you cannot see so clearly. You have ambiguous um, virgins. <laughs> but that little difference makes a big difference. If Jesus was born of a virgin, then he fulfilled a prophecy that a virgin shall bring forth. I said, I will show you a sign. A virgin shall give birth. If Jesus was born of a virgin, then it shows that his birth was supernatural. If Jesus was born of a virgin, it shows that he had no father on this earth. There is a big difference between a Jesus that was born of a virgin and a Jesus that was just born of a young woman. Amen. So you cannot just take these little things and say, it makes no difference. It makes a lot of difference. So you believing that something is going to work out makes a lot of difference to how the thing works out. When I look at my pictures of when I was in university carrying drums from my room to the classroom where we were going to have the church. So that's when I I see and I remember all I can say is that I must have been believing in something. I wonder what I have seen that I was believing. Even when I look back, I just marvel that what did I, was I thinking about? A student, there's nothing like a church. Nobody believes in you, but you've bought drums. You've bought an organ. You've made a job box. And you are carrying it on Sunday to a classroom. And you have called the church Lighthouse as an example to other churches. Hey. You see, a little faith can make a big difference. Yes. A little faith can make a big difference. And one day somebody made a mistake with our name and instead of calling it Lighthouse Chapel, he called it Lighthouse Chapel International. It was the printer who made a mistake. The printer of my wedding card. He said, Lighthouse Chapel, we gave him the word, Lighthouse Chapel invite you to the celebration of the marriage of Doug Heward Mills and Adelaide Bailey. So he made a mistake because a lot of churches were called international. Instead of Lighthouse Chapel, he just added international. So Lighthouse Chapel International. So he said, ah. It, I said, T, it, it sounds nice, though. Lighthouse Chapel International. And a little bit of faith, we accepted it. That we were an international church. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I want you to be a man of faith. A man and a woman who believes in God. Believe that things will, will, will work out. If you are marrying somebody, you need faith. These days, many of my missionaries are not getting beloved. Because... Many of the sisters have no faith. So my my young men are devoid, bereft of beloveds. Because they look at them and they say, look at this skinny boy. What future does he have? But you need faith. 
When you are getting married, you need faith. Without faith, you cannot successfully enter into a good relationship. If you relate with somebody because of what the person has, you will never have a good relationship. Today, people are looking to see if there will be some car keys. To see if there is a house. To see if there is something that the person has. That is why when there is someone who seems to be a little prosperous and he's, he's a, an eligible bachelor, so many people want to marry the person. Because they can see his car. Look at this. This is where I will be staying in future. I can see where I will be staying. I can see the car that I will be driving in. I can see that I will be going abroad from time to time. But when they look at this lanky skeleton brothers who are always feeling hungry no money no food they look at them and say look at some something like this what shall be my future when i marry such a brother you need faith faith is the substance of things hoped for what are you hoping for that's the substance you are feeling by your side. And the evidence of things not seen. That's the brother that you are seeing there. It's the evidence of things not seen. It shall be well with you, I tell you. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. You need faith. I tell you. We need marriages that are built on faith. Not marriages that are built on materialism. And what do you have? What do you have? One day, some two people were, were quarreling. And this one said, you are jealous of me. And the other one said, me, I'm jealous of you. How do you say I'm jealous of you? And he said, what do you have? And this one said, I have everything. <laughs> what do you have? He said, I have everything. I have everything. What do you have? I have everything. Hey. You are looking at somebody else. What does he have? That is why people cannot enter the ministry. They ask, what will you, what will you have? My wife did not look at what do you have. Even she did not even look at me well. <laughs> hey! Because if she had looked at me well, she wouldn't have decided to marry me. No. Because when I see my pictures, even on the day that I was getting married, hey, Boniem, have you heard of that? Uh, there's a Boniem. <laughs> there's some singers called Boniem, isn't it? What song do they sing? Boniem. Ah, huh? what song Boniem? Is that Boniem? And another one from Boniem. Hey. Only Christmas songs. By the river, sir. Boni, Boni M. I don't know whether the founder of that group was very Boni. The older beloveds and wives were not looking at, what do you have? I have everything. I have nothing. I just have myself. I, I'm just myself. I have nothing. When our sister Dorothy was going to marry Pastor Johnny. Do you think she, she was looking at what do you have? He, have no, he had nothing. Boniem. Look. As you see Pastor Johnny today. That is not how he was. This is an uh, enhanced upgrade version. Upgraded. She didn't see it well. 
Because Bonny J. <laughs> One day, I went to America. And there was a couple who got married in the church. And we were officiating. Come and see Bishop Eddie. Slim J. Come and see Bishop Saki. Psychedelic T. And come and see the worship leader. Boni J himself. <laughs> Pastor Johnny. When I saw the picture, I was sitting there. I was, I was in America. I got up and said, ah! I said, who is that? Is he feeling well? Is he feeling sick? Is he, is he a cancer patient? Is it tuberculosis? Is it starvation? What, what problem is the person having? But the person was not having any problem. Just normal. He doesn't have anything. Hunger and starvation. Hey! So when Sister Dorothy saw him, do you think he was looking at what you have? She was married with eyes of faith. Faith. I see the future. That one day this man will be a bishop. Hey! So the current beloved sisters in the system, a little faith, I say a little faith will make a big difference in your life. Just small, small faith. Instead of looking at what do you have, start having faith that it will be well it will be well with my marriage when you are marrying without faith you cannot marry do you know whether your husband will live for long when he would die you don't know when we went to office cinema they told us that this place is a dangerous place we said why he said you cannot stay here they said the first time there was a wedding in the church on Saturday, then on Monday, the bridegroom died. I said, hey, three days. Like the resurrection. <laughs> he was dead. <laughs> he married for three days and he died. I said, what? You don't know what marriage holds for you? How is he going to be? Because some you see them nice, it will turn different. Some you see them Ugboshi, it will become slim. But when I saw my wife, my wife was not slim as she is today. She was plump. Plump, round. Round. Do you think I was looking at the outward appearance? I was looking beyond. Uh, uh, the outward appearance was beautiful, but she was round. I, I asked her, do you believe in slimming? I asked her, do you believe in slimming? A little faith. With a little faith, I'm talking about a little faith can make a big difference in your life. All that we are doing, there's no faith. That is why many people cannot follow me into the ministry. They don't have small faith. Just a little faith. When Bishop Saki was following me in the ministry, what did I have and what did he have? We have nothing. But we have a little faith. Just a little faith. We believe that it will be well. The first house that Bishop Stucky was staying in was a boys' quarters. We, we built a mosquito net in the veranda. <laughs> so when we made the mosquito net, I said, from here to here is a corridor. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I said, look, from here to here is a corridor. It's okay. Yeah. We, we got some money to rent that place. Inside somebody's house. They were selling rice and stew in the house. Yes. Yeah. It's a bombastic bumbo. 
<laughs> they were selling rice and stew in the house. A little faith. We just had a little faith. I said, this place is okay. Let's be here for now. Yeah. We built the kitchen. We converted the place. Then we made the mosquito net because his room was when, when you come out of that room, it's open air crusade immediately. So that is why we made the mosquito net so that you pass through the net, then you come to the side. Yeah. And he, we, we, we used to go there all the time, happily. It was, it was in, in one of the, there were only two rooms in that, the whole house is made of two rooms. It was in one of the rooms that we watched Africa Cup, Ghana versus Cote d'Ivoire. The one that we played 21 penalties. And then they scored us at the end. Yeah. It's a very sad uh, day, that day. Since that day, I didn't like soccer again. We were happy. We had faith. We had faith. We believed that it would, it would be okay. A little faith can make a big difference. Yeah. I never prayed that somebody would give me money. There was nothing like that. We never even took offerings. We just believed in God. A little faith changes even the nature of the relationships that you have. Yeah. Just the nature of the relationships. As for, me, as for me, I don't like relationship with money. I don't relate with Bishop Saki on money, or my wife on money. There's nothing like money discussion in our house. So uh, money, I, I want money for this or this. Or, ah. What I have is what you have. What she has is what I have. When I need, I just take what she has. And when she needs, she takes what I have. It's simple. A little faith can change. He said, Jesus, I didn't say, no, I don't be angry with me. Jesus said, if you have just small, it's small like this, small, 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 it will change. Mountains will be moving all over the place. Small faith. Just, there's no faith now. It's just money. What I can see. When you can see, then there's no need of faith. Because faith is the evidence of something you are not seeing. Once you are seeing, there is no faith involved. But once there is faith, it means you are not seeing anything. You should see picture of me as a pastor. Slim. Even when I, when I go to make trousers, instead of the tailor to need about three or four yards, he will just need about one or two. <laughs> Boniem. With joy, with joy, you can draw water from the wells of salvation. When you have faith, you are cheerful. I never felt I would ever have a, a house to stay in in my life. Never. But I was happy. Because I had just a little faith in God that there is heaven. And that over there, everything will be okay. A little faith into your sickness, into your life into your marriage, into your lay ministry, into the ministry which will just lift you up from this level to another level altogether. That is why people are struggling to get beloveds now. They look at you and say, you've been transferred. One brother told me, said, when he told us, when, when he was transferred to, is it Wara or Kete Krachi or somewhere, the beloved left him immediately. Is it Kete Krachi? The guys were telling me on Sunday, which town is it? He was trans- Donko Chrome. Was, uh-huh. When he was transferred to Donko Chrome, then the beloved left him. He said, You have been transferred to where? Donko Chrome, Afram Plains. And it's interesting of all the missionaries, the person who that um, sister left, is it Donko Chrome or Shadiem? Donko Chrome, yeah. Of all the missionaries, the, his name is, his name, I don't mention his name, but of all the places, he's one of the f- few missionaries that I know by name, and even I know his number, and I communicate with him all the time. That's the person that this person doesn't want to have. It's wonderful, because people, what do you have? 
I have everything. You have what? What do you have? What do you have? What do I have? What do you have? A little faith would change. No car. And so what? Bishop Saki didn't have a car. But he had faith. His car was a ladder. Do you know ladder? Do you know ladder? It was a red ladder. And Bishop Saki would sit like this and be driving. And he really liked the car. Red one. Hey! And, 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 he, and, and he, he was happy with the car. He said, it's a good car. It was almost convincing us to buy Russian cars. <laughs> with a little faith, you become something far greater. All oh, that your eye is on is what can I see? What can I see? What can I see? That's what I pray for people who are at a certain level and they are now looking for wives. I tell you, you get vultures, vampires. I mean, female vampires, female vultures, female leopards. Everybody is hunting for you because of what they can see. But in the day that they cannot see anything, then they need faith. And that's when you see a good sister. A sister who is coming with faith. Mr. Saki didn't have a car. Then one day, I don't know whether the ladder got spoiled or it was before the ladder, we saw the body, the body of a Toyota Carina. We saw the body somewhere. And then the inside of the car, we saw it at another place. So we bought the body and put it on the car. Can you believe it? With our little faith. Yeah. But you want money. People come to the church and ask, which car is the bishop's car? Which car is the bishop's car? You've come to the wrong church to ask for cars. Here we don't specialize in cars. The car is nothing to us. The car is not important to us. If car was important, you would have seen fleet of Mercedes Benz in Thales. You will see Bishop 1, Bishop 2, Bishop 3, Bishop 4. You see them outside. With car, special car numbers. It's a bombastic bombo. <laughs> we will show you Kodesh 1, Kodesh 2, Kodesh 3, Kodesh 4. We will show you these are the bishops, car numbers. With special numbers, special number plates, with special cars. You will see what is a car in different colors. And when we bought the body and put it on the, not the engine, the car, we joined the two. That time Bishop Saki was learning how to drive. So, freshly welded, he was reversing and he didn't see a pole. So he went and scraped the whole side. So the body that we have recently put on I think we have to take it off <laughs> up again <laughs> yeah it's a bombastic bombo <laughs> but we, we, we have we, we have never been Charlie we are suffering we are that we are, have always been excited because we always had what a little faith we always have faith faith Faith. 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 But today's girls, you are looking. If he has money to take taxi. Taxi? Taxi? Or bus? Is he going to put me in a bus or a taxi? I have to see first. Who is his mother? Who is his father? But we had a little faith. Bishop Eddie, he had no car. I went to negotiate to buy his first car with him. There was a, a, a man selling a Nissan Cherry, small, have you seen two doors? I don't know if it had four doors or two doors. Small one. 720 CDs. 
or seven twenty thousand. We went to negotiate. When he came, I told him to go and finish with the with the guy. And then I will, I will, I will go and see the guy. Whatever price he reaches, I will take it down. Because I said, I, I'm a master negotiator. Master negotiator. <laughs> so he negotiated up to 720. And I said, okay, let's go. In the evening, we went together, went to see the guy. I negotiated. And that is the day that I met my match. Even one CD, he didn't remove it. Hey! It was a total bombastic bombo for me. <laughs> Even one CD like I said, hey, today I've seen somebody who can face me squarely. Because I believe in myself as a master negotiator. <laughs> He used to drive that small car to Akosomu and back every Tuesday. By Tuesday, now he has reached. After church, he's on the road back to Akuse. So that Wednesday, early in the morning, he will be at work. We're happy. We had PFI. When I was the only member in the church with a car. Initially, there was one car in Lighthouse. Single what? Single what? Single one, like Lotto, single one. In the beginning, I was the only member with a car. After church, I would say, all of us in the car. I put the amplifier in, everything. Then, myself, my, be- my beloved, or I think it was my wife, Bishop Saki, his wife or his beloved. Was it wife or beloved? He became wife at a point. And then Bishop Eddie and his wife. Six inside a small Renault 4. Have you seen one before? And you see that the, tire, the car has gone down like that. You would think that it's automatic suspension up and down. Hey! It's a complete bombastic bombo. And we used to drive to Tema. From Kolibu Canteen. We drive to Tema. With faith. When we go, one of our wives will make rice as to we eat. We were happy. Because we had faith. And we used to discuss how to reduce the cost of petrol. So we came up with an idea to convert the car from petrol to gas. And we invented something we call a bimbola to connect cooking gas to the car. So we, we had a special tube. It's called a bimbola. And we, we use it to connect the gas. And then Bishop Taki will calculate how far he has been able to go before it got finished. And we had a switch to switch from petrol to gas. We were happy. We knew that God was with us. There's nobody in the church. People used to laugh at us. One day, people were laughing at us so much that we decided to make curtains. We decided to make curtains so that people couldn't see us again. Because (laughs) there were not many people in the church. And people are passing outside and they were laughing at us looking at us and mocking us so one day i said look if we can have an curtains so that we will be inside without people seeing us so we embark on a project to make curtains from wall to wall this way and when we made the curtain we became very happy because nobody could see us to laugh at us again in the church but we have just a little faith Today we are in 50 something countries. Today we are blessed in a certain way we didn't know before. But I'm just explaining that Jesus said, if you have not faith, big faith, just a little, just a little in your life, it makes a big difference. You look at your husband who is some way, have faith. One day, he will be improved. Improved version. So take pictures at all stages. So that you see, do you see? Come. You see how slim he is? He's very hungry. Even this one, he's been in the house for some time, so he looks quite... 
Where is Enoch? Oh, if this one, she, come. Bonique. Do you see? Very slim. Which country are you going to? Burundi. Burundi. He's on his way to Burundi. What do you have? Nothing. Where is your beloved? Antoinette. Come. Look at a beautiful girl. You are going to marry somebody who hasn't got anything. Are you going to marry him? Yes, Bishop. Are you in love? Yes, Bishop. Yes, Bishop, I'm in love. Hey! Burundi. Who do you know in Burundi? Nobody. I don't know anybody. Nobody at all. What do you have? Nothing. <laughs> Let me see your phone. Hey. China made. All the numbers have come off. They are pressed. Ah, the numbers are finished. What do you have? Nothing. But you have what? Faith. Faith. Small faith. Small faith. Small faith to go to Burundi. Yeah. Just a little faith. It can make a big difference. So, be happy. Don't complain in the house. When you complain, it's an evil spirit. That's what the Israelites, they didn't believe that there is a promised land. They didn't believe it. They said, there's a promised land. Believe. We were eating cucumber. We were having this. We were doing it. It's an evil spirit of doubt. It's the opposite. It takes you reverse. takes you back. And there are some of you, you are chronic complainers. It's part of your character to always say something negative. And when you see somebody like that, you must recognize this person is the dangerous person. Watch out. It's a negative thing. When I was in Jerusalem, this la- the last time I was in Jerusalem, I tell you, I was in a bus and then the tour guide, he pointed to a mountain and he said, when he pointed this way, there was a river there. That was the Jordan River. And across the Jordan River was Jordan. And then after Jordan, just Jordan, there's mountains. And he said, that is where Moses stood. To see here. (laughs) Mount Nebo or something. That is where he stood to see. And he saw. This is the place that God had promised that he couldn't enter. You see, God has promised a great thing for you. But if you have faith, you will one day step there and enter the places that God has for you. With just a little faith, you will get there. But if you have no you will complain and complain until the complaining takes you backwards. I don't have a house. Which house did I have? Who has a house? Who has a car? We don't go by materialism or what you can, what you have. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? What do I have? What do you have? What do you have? We go by faith, a little faith. If you have a little faith, you have a little faith. I want to encourage you, be positive. Look at the bony M that is by your side and over. One day, this bushman that you say is always putting his finger inside his nose, one day, he will take you to a restaurant and show you how to eat with fork and knife. Hey, this man who is always eating a bunubunu, one day he will be eating steak and kidney pie. Do you know steak and kidney pie? Sister, do you know steak and kidney pie? Faith. I see you having a little faith. Just a little, a little more, a little more, my friend, a little more. Believe in God. Believe. Believe that it is well. See the promised land. See the promised land. I tell you, next time you are in Israel, make sure they show you the place. When they show show me, I said to them, stop the bus. I have to look at that mountain. I said, really? Say that this way. And you see clearly a range of mountains say that he was somewhere here. And and when you stand there, you see Israel. Oh, God. This is where we were coming. This is where we were coming. 
This is where we were coming to negativity, doubt, complaint, confusion. We never could enter. We stopped just behind the mountains. Oh. And they went round and round and round. If they had had a little faith, they would have entered. With a little faith, your church can be built. With a little faith, you can get to the place God has destined for you. If you have a little faith, I tell you, the mountains of your life will one day become history in your... In your but you see, faith is seen through cheerfulness and happiness and joy and a good flow and joking. Joke about you. Don't take yourself too seriously. Some of you are too serious about everything. You can't be serious all the time. You have to laugh at yourself sometimes. How many know how to laugh at yourself? If you can't laugh at yourself, get marry somebody who can laugh at you. My wife can laugh at me. She likes laughing. And she laughs at me. But she doesn't like it if I laugh at her. So I have agreed in a peace treaty that I will not laugh at her, but she can laugh at me. Is it a fair deal? Huh? Is it fair? But how for do? It's a small negotiation trick. You get it? Some of you are too serious. Take yourself too serious. You need somebody to laugh at you. A little. Relax. You are too serious. Kenneth, the person I heard saying that was Kenneth Hagin. He said, you can't be serious all the time. That, uh, that, I've never forgotten that phrase. He said, you can't be serious. He said, somebody met him when he was going shopping with his wife. And said, Papa Hagin, can you prophesy? He said, of course not. I cannot prophesy when I'm going shopping with my wife. Especially when I'm with my wife. How do you think I can profess that? What do you mean? It's going to work out. Did you hear me? Keep on saying it. Keep on saying it. Sign your signature. Those of you whose signature is very simple. Change it to a complex one. Go to the bank. And tell this is my new signature. And when they say, what is this? Is it a crab? You say, it's a millionaire signature. A millionaire cannot just be writing your name like that. Everybody can copy. Hey! A rich man like you. How can you just write your name like that? Hey! I see you in a big house. That small house you are in is for today. But I see a promised land in the future. Do you believe in the promised land? Do you believe in the promised land? Yeah. As you are walking home today, be excited and be happy and tell yourself, if my pastor was using a bimbola, if my pastor was buying a body before he buys the inside of the car, then me to one day, by the grace of God, I see myself at a higher place in the name of Jesus. I used to take my wife to restaurants when I was a beloved. Yeah. Our favorite restaurant was Kung Fu Chinese restaurant. Now, because I couldn't afford in those days, I used to stay outside and I would send her to go and buy spring rolls. Do you know spring rolls? I couldn't afford rice. I couldn't afford anything. So I'll say, will it, should we buy two portions or one? One portion has two in it. And most of the time, if we buy two, I will eat three. And she will eat one. Because I'm faster than her. I, I never went inside. But I never complained. Lord, why am I not entering this restaurant? I'm excited that I can buy and I have a beloved who will eat only one when I eat three. Shabaya, bombastic, bombastic, bombastic bombo. (laughs) 
But today, by the grace of God, I can go to, you know, rickshaw restaurant. Rickshaw. I can go to karate kid restaurant. I can go to dynasty restaurant. I can go. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. I don't even have time to go. So you today, every day you go to don't mind your wife's job back. But by the grace of God, in the future, I'm talking about the promised land. I say I'm talking about the promised land. I see you walking in with your wife. Hey, Jesus. One day you'll be driving by and you will say, shall I go to Indian restaurant or Chinese restaurant or French restaurant or Argentinian restaurant? Give the Lord a bombastic bombo shout. Those of you pastors that are struggling with your church, it is going to grow. I am informing you of your future. Yeah. Don't be don't be sad. Be cheerful. And remember the promised land is just over the hill. May you never reverse in the name of Jesus. May you arrive there with your small faith. I said just a little faith. Just a little faith. It will make a big difference. Give the Lord a shout of praise everybody. All right. Father, we thank you for little faith like a mustard seed for our future is bright. Our future is bright. Lift your hand and say, my future is bright. My future is bright. My future is bright. Speak in tongues over these words. Speak in tongues over this word. My future is bright. My future is bright. Thank you for a bright future. Bright future. Bright future. Bright future. My God. for your word that can never be broken your words are the the best words they are precious words they are the words for which heaven and earth will pass away but these words will never change that if we have faith as small as a mustard seed we can actually move mountains we are thanking you we receive the promise and predictions of a brighter tomorrow, a brighter and better future that though we may pass through wilderness, we shall make it into the land of promise only positive people can go to the promised land, that is why Joshua and Caleb were the only people to enter this land of promise, we thank you and I release the spirit of faith into the hearts of your people. Let the spirit of fear of tomorrow, fear of the future, fear of the unknown, fear of undeterminable aspects of life, fear of death, fear of bad news, fear of demonic surprises, 
fear of surprises of the enemy fear of wickedness in jesus name we are bought and bind these powerful spirits thank you we overcome them through the spirit of faith in the name of jesus thank you lord amen and as every head is bowed and every eye closed this evening maybe somebody invited you to church but you are not born again you want to say pastor please pray with me i want to give my life to God. I want to give my life to Jesus Christ. Please pray with me. Pray for me. I want to be born again. I want my sins to be washed away by the blood of Jesus. If you are here like that, just raise up your right hand. Just your right hand. Thank you. Lift it up. Pastor, help me to know God today. I want to give my life to God, to Jesus Christ today. God bless you. Lift it up. Just your right hand. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you have lifted your hand, I want you to come to me. Come from where I'm. I want you to come. I want to pray for you. Come from where you are standing. Come. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Come. I want to pray for you right here. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. Come to Jesus Christ today. Don't, don't be in the church and say, I will go to heaven. No. You must be saved. You must give your life. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. Lift your hand. Everybody lift your hand. Everybody close your eyes. And everybody in front here also lift your hand and say after me. Say this prayer. It's a prayer. Say, Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. Today, I receive Jesus as my Savior, as my Lord, as my Master. Oh, God, tonight... I humble myself and I come before you. Please forgive me for all my sins. Cleanse me. Wash me with the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for saving me today. I love you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I receive you, Jesus, as my Savior and my Lord. Oh, God, Please write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Lord, for saving me today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We believe you've been blessed by this sermon. For inquiries, please call plus 233-267676055. Plus 233-267676055. Or send an email to info at godswordforus.com. Info at godswordforus.com.